Hey everybody, this is BMX29 um, for NextGenUpdate.com, bringing you a little update on the pack injection tutorials. Um, I'm realizing that uh, the first one was sort of a fail in some ways, and that some of you might need some more help. As you know, I kind of expect to know all this stuff because I've been like doing some of this since I was like seven with the PS2 on and off, so I kind of learned it when I was young, you just kind of sunk in. But I'll cover some things. First of all, the injection, which didn't really work out because I usually works for me, but I will show you how to open up the capture file. Um, a Wireshark capture, normal CAP, uh, without all that crap. So, because before yesterday went open, I usually was able to get it open, but um, we're gonna, uh, nah, we're gonna delete all these. Yes. Okay, now as you see, Colesoft is uh, open. There's no packets, no nothing open, and uh, I have my capture file right up here. So I'm going to show you how to import it, so you don't have to go back and resave it. You can go to import all supported files. As you can see, it usually would find it for me, but I guess it won't. So you can simply type in the file name dot cap. So test mw2 dot pcap I guess is what that one is and hit enter and there you go all those packets we saw from before and to simply inject it you can export all packets you can save it something else if you just want that um you can send them now burst mode is really what I suggest unless there is an issue like some things like I'm trying to think when I did, uh, when I was able to spoof the score and all that, like a score mob but didn't save to the leaderboard, by the way, I did that, but you might have to, it's kind of playing around. Loops, many of you guys were asking about this. A loop will, for who does not know, a loop, um, is basically how many times in a row you're going to send the same packet. So say if I want to send this highlighted packet right here, because that's one I would send, if that's one, you know, you have to try around, play around. That one will send how many times I select, how many times in a row, and how much delay. So one time, it'll send it once, and then it'll send again. If you have it zero, it'll just keep sending it. I do not suggest an infinite loop unless you make your own um, raw socket. And if you don't know what raw socket is, seriously, don't even bother with that, because that is actual programming, which I'm not really good with by because of packets, I kind of know what they are, um, where you can do it directly without having to use a program with this, but raw sockets is a bitch if you don't know, um, but basically you can put, like, if you want to, like, for host, stuff like that, I'd probably put around, depends how fast your connection, if you can get, if you normally get really fast, I would say no more than probably 12, um, so we'll send 12 packets, delay loop, well, that's, that's probably good and then you would just select um, whatever adapter now this is what people are asking you if you have a wireless card like a wireless card and that's how you bridge because that's how personally for Colasoft I like it for Comview you have to get a whole different version of Comview if you want to use wireless and some wireless cards are not supported so if you're gonna go out and buy one I would suggest to look into that because they're not really expensive but they're still still cost some money and basically what you're gonna do is I don't have a wireless card right now but once you have that whatever one you're bridged to once you ever bridge that wireless card um to your PS3 360 you're gonna see it here once it's installed of course and you simply hit OK and then it'll, you'll start and then it will basically it will send whatever packet you selected now to modify a packet all you have to do is say I want to change this to zero 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 and so you can just modify whatever packet data you want and the ASCII's over here and you can always like scroll down to see some more domain name the domain for the uh, server um it's usually something weird I don't remember what exactly what it was but uh that's basically it. but um this is relatively easy to do and uh shouldn't take you much time now people ask Will this get you banned? Can it be patched? It will not ban you. Um, it can be patched if they add a new checksum. 
So really that's that's on their side, that's not on the game, that's not in natural patch usually. That's they update the checksum on the server client, which is server side. And there's really nothing we can do about that except redo it. Um and then for a few of you that were asking me about uh IPs, um I'm gonna explain that right now because I think that's still kinda confusing, but we'll we'll get into that. Um if this would open, I don't know why I have a good processor, so this is a laptop, it should be pretty fast. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I don't see you. There we are. Mm-hmm. Okay, the IP thing. People were asking me how this works. So, first of all, the source or whatever. Destination is mine right now for these because these are being received. Half of them are, some of them aren't. But if you are sending it, the source will be your IP. Now the last the last value she is like for here would be point four. That is the device on your system. Now you can always um go to I usually do at the beginning where was it? You can always just um when you go to capture your yeah, options you can select like you can just like filter like uh like capture filters right here. You can do all that, and you can also filter the IP. Um, your usually how it works is it'll increment starting at one, so such as this, for example, would be the first device, and it'll be whatever your IP is dash one point one. Point one is usually your first computer registered on your home network, so like your main computer, like a family shared computer. Number two, like say then the next thing you hooked up to your like to your uh, router and stuff was your PS3. Your PS3, you can even check this on the on your PS3 if you want. It will go under the internet options. It will show the IP. The IP will be your IP dash, I mean not dash, point two. Now if that was the second one, register be point two. So all you do is filter so you only receive from that IP and the server's IP. Um, that's generally how it works. Now if you have other devices, it might not be point two. It obviously will not be point one because that's your computer main router. Um, that's your main connection. Point two is the next thing. Point three, so on. You can just check on your PS3 and just check that. Um, really, that's all. And they won't change. People are asking me about do the packets change? No, they should not. So if you get in one game, it should work in the other. Um, I have found that for some things, like if you change the gun, sometimes the data changes, so that might kind of screw people up. You have to redo the check some. But generally, that's pretty easy to do, and it's really not that big of a deal. Now, also on the other note, um, when injecting, just make sure that the point of opportunity is like if you shoot, you inject it when that packet's being sent. Then again, I am trying to find a programmer who can write a program who can use raw sockets, and I will just give you guys the data put in that. So literally, what the idea is, it see, see this data down here. This is why I saw this open. See this in the program. This will be specified as the original packet. If this was the one you were to mod, and then simply a few lines down in the program in the code, it would have the mod. Say we this was changed to like zero one, like the zero zero three F was changed to zero 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 one, um, or like zero one zero one. That would be uh, stored in the raw socket. So then when that packet right there, all this data is received where the offset is in the protocol, like see right here, uh, it's UDP, usergram, agrol protocol, which is basically the reason they use that is because it's most lightweight. It's easiest for the games. If they use stuff like TCP, everyone would probably fucking lag a lot more than they already do. And as you can see, all this other information, um, it will be stored there and basically the raw socket would take it. So when this packet's received... The original data it will then hijack it and send the packet with the new data it's pretty spiffy it basically means all you have to do is enter your IP your PS3's IP the server IP and all that into the program and he uses the header files to do it now I'm not very good at program I only know the absolute basics because that's not an interest of mine um, but that would have to be done by someone else and I can just provide the socket data but that's basically, if someone wants to write that up, I can probably tell you in words how to do it. I couldn't actually give you an example, though, because I never...